Hello, in this tutorial we'll show you how to configure our user sync functionality with Okta. We'll use user sync to synchronize your users via the Okta API into the Atlassian application. The first thing we'll do is um, start creating a connector in user sync then enter the information um, from Okta, including creating a token, uh, an API token in Okta, um, and then um, running a sync and checking that that worked fine. We'll use our user sync functionality to synchronize users into the Atlassian application via Okta's API, and then use SAML to authenticate those users um, via single sign-on. We'll first start off um, configuring the user sync part so that we get the user accounts into the um, Atlassian application. Uh, for that, we create an API token on Okta, configure our user sync connector, uh, and test it, see that it works. Afterwards, we'll look at authentication so that we um, configure the SAML integration on the Okta side, then finish our plugins configuration for the authentication and test it all together. So this is my demo instance. Um, you can see I currently only have one user in there, the administrator, and now we'll configure um, the user sync functionality to synchronize users um, into the application. So let's start off with user sync. And user sync has the concept of connectors. So every API for an identity provider that we implemented um, is a connector here. You see we have the most common ones. Here we want to configure Okta, and by the way, you can have multiple um, uh, connectors to the same IDP or IDP type. So if you have two instances in Okta, for example, um, you can uh, synchronize both instances into here. For the tutorial, we we'll just have one, so let's create Okta here. And now the connector needs to have um, essentially two main settings done. First is the Okta domain. I'm just going to quickly copy that over from Okta. So let's move over. I'm going to copy the domain part here of the Okta instance and paste it here. And the next thing it wants is an API token so that it can access the API. That needs to be a token from an administrator and let's just quickly create that in Okta. So going back here, I'm logged in as an admin but I'm not on the admin portal yet. So I click admin here. That gets me to the Okta admin portal. Here I need to go to security, scroll down, API, and then onto the tab tokens. Now I can say create token. It needs to have a name, make it something that you can find it again if you want to revoke it at some point. Let's say create token, and I can copy the token. Okay, got it. And that's pretty much it, what we have to do in Okta for the uh, user sync part. So let's go back to our plugin, paste in the API token. And that's fundamentally everything we need to do to be able to synchronize with our uh, base settings. Still, I want to show you a couple more settings that you could do, um, but I'm not going to explain them in detail. So if you have any questions, um, look at our documentation, reach out to support or schedule a screen share session uh, because um, this configuration can be relatively um, individual and there can't be a tutorial for every possible combination. So the first one I want to explain a little bit is required Okta groups. If you specify a group name or a couple of group names there um, from your Okta instance, then only users in that group will be synchronized into um, uh, Jira. So if you have, for example, on Okta a Jira users group and you only want those users synchronized then specify that um, group here and it needs to be a group or group name from the Okta instance um, since we checked that via the API. Good, uh, let's go to provisioning settings um, just quickly. Um, there's a bit more that can help you like the copy behavior with migrations of existing users uh, or if you want to always assign a certain group to, um, to every user. There's also the potential to um, configure additional attribute mapping. So if you have more information in Okta, like uh, phone numbers, manager names, and those kind of things, you can add um, those mappings here. Um, and there's also a section about group management. There's also a video about group management. 
uh, by default, our connector treats um, Okta as the single source of truth for groups. So if a user is in a group in Okta, it will um, uh, replicate that into Jira. If you assign a group manually in Jira and that user is not part of the group in Okta, it will get removed on the next sync. Um, but you can control that with those settings here. So if you, for example, um, only want to filter some groups that only some groups from uh, Okta come in, or that some groups are treated as local groups, other groups are managed by the IDP, then you can do that with the settings here. But have a look at the um, video in, in the portal and also reach out to us uh, if you have any questions. That can probably be the most complicated part of setting up user sync, uh, depending on your um, exact requirements. So I'm gonna go to the last tab, which is sync settings, um, just quickly. Um, here's the possibility to turn on scheduled synchronization, which I'm going to do now. By default, we synchronize once an hour, which is fine for small and medium-sized instances. If you have very large um, Okta user bases, let's say tens of thousands of users, then you might want to tone that down a little bit. Um, but feel free to reach out for, um, to us uh, if you want to have some good best, uh, best practice advice here. Let's say save and return now. And then let's kick off a synchronization manually for the moment. And now you see it's um, uh, running and it's starting to add users uh, into the application. I think we have some 900 or 1000 users in that demo instance, so it will take a couple of minutes to synchronize them all in. Um, but that's what user sync does. Okay, you can see it's done with success. 835 users have been synchronized in. You can also see some of the messages, um, but essentially zero users failed. All fine here. Let's close this and just have a look at the um, user management section again. And now you can see there's a lot of users having been synchronized in um, from the um, Okta into the new Okta directory. And behind the scenes to show you that as well, um, user sync actually for every connector configured, it creates a um, additional internal directory that behaves like any other internal directory in Jira. So it uh, adheres to the directory search order. You can just use it like any other directory that you are used to in Jira. Um, and that's where the users get synchronized into from Okta. <laughs>